Okay, for today's lesson, we're going to have a go at drawing a dinosaur today. We're going to do a Triceratops, one of my favorite dinosaurs. So you're going to need your pencil sharpener, a rubber, and a very sharp pencil. So let's get started with our Triceratops. So to start this, I'm just going to sketch out very lightly some of the shapes. I'm going to start with um, maybe an oval. See, I'm doing this very, very lightly. Just want to get a very nice oval shape. Just keep working until you get it right. Very, very lightly. Okay, I'm just going to work out now where some of the body parts go. So we'll have a, I guess, a head that will come, come out. Something like this, just to join onto the oval. Something like this. Now just light because we might change we might change things if it doesn't look quite right. Okay, just get these legs right. We're just uh, just gonna work out where uh, just different parts go. I'm just going to work out the sort of the where it joins on. using this sort of, uh, we call this sort of a joints and rods technique. I'm just working out where things are going. It doesn't look like it yet, but we're just getting everything in position. as we go. Okay, all right. Now, I've just got this show. I just want to get the shape of these legs. I'm just sort of going to go around them now like this. legs and the body and things in place so we need to make this up to start looking like a triceratops so let's work on this head let's get um, I'm not sure what you call this but this sort of strange sort of neck here it comes up we'll curve it around something like this um, we need to just work out maybe where her mouth might go shape just a rough eye at the moment just to work out where things go okay we need these um, the triceratops has obviously three horns so let's put our one horn on something like 
that. Let's get another horn on the back, the behind. Okay. I'm just gonna let this sort of run into this one just to show that it's sort of behind that one and they're not lined up in front of each other. And there's a little horn on the front. Okay, starting to take the shape of a Triceratops. Now, this is where um, we now can get into a little bit more detail here. I'm just gonna rub out some of these lines. I don't need these lines. Probably don't need this line here either in that circle. Okay. Now, this is where it will start to come to life because we're going to use some, just some details and some shading here. So I'm just going to start by sharpening up some of these areas. When I say sharpening up an area, I mean just using a sharp pencil just to go over those lines. Okay, now I've got this basic shape. I just want to um, add some shading into this. So I'm just going to darken up. Um, well, first I'm just going to make this really, really lightly. This is like super, super light. I'm just barely touching my page here. I just want to get a little bit of, of the lead on there, just so that I have enough just to smudge it and give that little bit of gray to it. Super light because I don't want to see these lines at all. Okay. Now, there should be enough lead on there just to be able to smudge this out. Okay, now I've gone over these edges, so I'm just going to neaten this up. I like to sort of neaten this up as I go. Just taking away these smudge lines.
just trying to keep my page clean. Okay, now I'm just gonna darken up some more areas. Um, I'm just gonna darken up under the chin here. Uh, I'm just gonna add some little detail here. shadows and light bits it just gives it that um, more realistic effect to our, our drawing. A little bit of shadow under the, under the tummy here. pressing too hard but I'm just building it up with gradual layers. shading our down on this tail. So it's really neat trying to stay in those lines. Just back and forward very lightly, just building it up gradually. Smudged over my line, so just neaten it up. Okay, always keep this rubber handy just to neaten up our edges, neaten them up as we go. Okay, now we want to get into, it look, he's looking a little bit more um, 
a little bit too smooth here. So we need to add in our last set of details. And this is going to be all these sort of wrinkles and lines that we'd expect to see on a, an old dinosaur. Um, so I'm going to add some of those in now, just some of these little features and details. Now I'm just going to add some, um, just sharpen up this back and then I'm just going to add in these sorts of lines. Now don't just draw a line straight through, we'll just make them a little bit broken lines. But you will need a very sharp pencil for this. some lines down this way. Add some little lines in here, create these little creases and Just some lines to give some details, some little wrinkles on the knees and on the legs. Here I'm just sort of flicking my pencil just to get those lines in. Okay, I'm just going to do some sort of circular little scales now. Just some interlocking circles down here. Just for the sort of scales, different sort of scales. Not full circles, just, just the curves.
just lots of little lines. Really just take your time with this and just build those lines up gradually. Just keep working different spots. Okay, let's just work on this face a little bit. Just a few little details, a few little marks here. Just some small little sort of circles and shapes here. Just a bit of shading on the horn. Okay, now I'm just gonna use my rubber um, just to highlight a few areas, just to put a little highlight spot. So maybe just a bit of, bit of highlight through the face here, just to show where the lighter areas are. I'm just gonna lighten up. Maybe just a little bit of highlight around the nose. A bit like a sort of a, a white pencil in a way. A bit of highlight on the knee. A bit of highlight through the tummy there. Okay, a little bit of highlight on the leg. And maybe just a little bit of highlight. Just run it through the back. Just to get that little lightness through there. If it's too light, you can just run your finger over a little bit. Maybe a little bit on the feet here, maybe a little bit on the you know, Just wherever you think there needs to be a bit of bit of light to it. If it gets a bit too light, you can just sort of change it, fix it up a bit. Just darken it up a little bit there. Okay, and then maybe we need to just put um, you know, give it the ground or something. Let's just give a bit of a shadow. Make him look like he's actually standing on something. Maybe some grass. You can just make this up. Something like that. Okay, and there we have a pretty cool looking Triceratops.
Okay, your turn to have a go. Good luck. Remember, keep your pencil nice and sharp. Have your rubber on standby to rub out, clean up all your edges and um, really keep, um, you know, get your highlights in here and um, just keep working on it. Be really patient with it. And I'm sure with a bit of practice, you'll get the hang of it. Anyhow, good luck. Bye.